Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Tuesday, July 13th. Uh, nice day today, plus $981. Let's go to these. I'll show you what we did. Starting with Piton, our one mighty 90, uh, booked 490 on that one. Did a small pairs trade in gold versus silver. That was a small loser for 133. And then on the runners, uh, seven different runners, Baba, uh, minus 57, Piton, plus 220. Square minus 330, Snow plus 150, Roblox plus 246, Roku plus 380, and the NASDAQ basically a scratch minus 15. So I was actually getting ready to record this recap, and then all of a sudden the market started really moving. Uh, if I take a look at the futures, just like at the NASDAQ and the SP, I mean, NASDAQ really started flushing, SP was coming down hard. And so I said, okay, maybe I'm not quite done yet. The market was screaming at me that it wanted to give me more money. So I said, okay, you know, I mean, that's what, that's what you do when it's yelling at you to give you more money. You just take it, right? So um, let's, start with the, uh, let's start with the Mighty 90 and Piton. I'll show you what we did here. Uh, starting with this uh, flush down in Piton right into this uh, key level here. Had a nice spike in volume, got long and caught this bounce right back up to unchanged. Cut out of my last piece right there, plus 490 in Piton. Uh, onto the runners, Baba. Uh, Baba, I did have a nice profit in. Uh, had this uh, initial weakness and then bounced all the way up above the high, started consolidating. Got long right here, looking for another push, which I got it. I uh, got out of most of my position there, and then when it pulled back, uh, I got back in with some more, looking for some more uh, upside and it just started to fall, so I ended up cutting out. Net net took a loss of minus 57 in Baba. Uh, Piton, back to Piton, I did that mighty 90, but then I also had a runner. Uh, so when Piton started to pull back here, got in, got out uh, of some there. I think I, I think I can't remember where I held my last piece until I think I got out right around this area here. So anyway, caught a little bit of profit there, plus 220. Uh, Square, Square was a loser for minus 330. Actually, this was a couple different trades, uh, one of which was a winner, had this nice volume spike here. So when it pulled back, I got in and it actually bounced uh, intra-bar and caught, may have been right here, caught, uh, closed half my position out for 10%. And then when it started to come down, uh, closed the last piece out, booked a small winner on that. And then uh, after the big market flush, uh, Piton, or, uh, Square bounced up to yesterday's low. I thought we had more downside, uh, so I got short here looking for a rollover, and it just kind of chopped, started chopping higher, so I cut out and took a loss on that. So between those two trades, minus 330 in Square. Uh, Snow, don't trade this one too often, but uh, one of our fellow trade hackers in the room pointed it out. Had a nice big uh, man, this was the one who pointed out, had a nice big volume spike. And so when uh, Snow just pulled back a little bit, I think it was maybe right here, I uh, just caught that, caught that move higher. A uh, very small position, but booked a quick 150 and got out. Roblox. Roblox, Roblox, Roblox. Plus 246 in Roblox. Um, Roblox uh, had some real, uh, a lot of weakness here. Um, I got in, I believe, right in this area short, caught this move down, held on to one last piece. Uh, it looked like it was going to push through, and so I cut out of my last piece here, obviously exactly the wrong time in hindsight because it started to trade back down, but that's okay. Still booked a nice profit of 246. Uh, Roku. Roku. Where are you, Roku. All right, so Roku, uh, I was watching Roku all morning, had a super tight range, just chopping, chopping, chopping. Uh, when it broke down, finally into negative territory and bounced back up, I got short right here thinking, okay, we're gonna see some downside in Roku. Uh, and it just it just pushed up, and I just so I just got out right there. Now, so that was one, that was a, a small loss. And then the, the market flush happened, so when it started to flush here, it broke down again. And on this bounce, I got short again and caught this entire move down. Uh, so really nice uh, move there. So net net plus 380 in Roku. And then last of all, the NASDAQ futures. I took a little, a uh, couple little runners here. So when the market started to flush and when it bounced, I got short here. 
caught a nice move there. I think I got out of my last piece real close to the bottom right down here. And when it bounced up, I thought there was more downside in it, looking for it to roll over. So I added back in and then it pushed up. Uh, so uh, I think I got out of my last piece right around here uh, just about 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, so netted 15 bucks. So basically a scratch overall on the NASDAQ. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the day plus 891, I think I said. Yeah, no, 981 plus 981 on the day. Uh, we'll be streaming the rest of this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, we're offline on Monday, so look forward to seeing you in the live room. See you then.